Hello, Shoe Faithful. Vinny Abadu here from Shoebox with the current CBO of WWE, Stephanie McMahon, and her mother, <laughs> former CEO Linda, who's also on the Board of Trustees here at Sacred Heart to talk about women in the workplace. And Lynn, I'll start with you uh, about how you got to CEO and to lead WWF, now WWE, to its glory days worldwide and how you, as a woman leader, uh, got to that position of power and how you can be an inspiration for other women. Well, Vinny, I can tell you that it's uh, it's all about hard work, um, but also our business is a family business. Uh, my husband and I started, uh, you know, WWE as it is now, but it, Vince was third generation in the business, and uh, Stephanie and her brother then were fourth generation, and we had various different positions, but Vince was always number one, I was always number two, so he was the chairman, I was the CEO, but it took a, a great deal of effort to grow this business in uh, in a time when technology was changing. I mean, if you look over just the past few years to see what's happened as technology has grown and how your product is distributed all over the world. So it really is about having your finger on the pulse of the marketplace, uh, providing great entertainment, uh, and as WWE says today, putting smiles on people's faces. Hey, Stephanie, um, you just got your recent position in December. But you've been with the company since basically you got out of college. Right. Yeah, yeah, more or less. <laughs> How have you seen yourself grown as a, uh, a woman leader inside the organization and somebody who a lot of other women can look up to? Well, um, first of all, I'm also a mother of three, and I'm incredibly proud to be a working mother. I've had the opportunity to have a number of different positions. And as you mentioned, the WWE's glory days, I think that absolutely they were our foundation days. And we are just now beginning to enter you know, into this new incredible space. We launched the WWE Network, the first ever OTT live streaming digital service. And what that means is it's basically like Netflix, only better, because we have the live streaming component, if you're a WWE fan. Um, but that's, you know, that's nine ninety nine a month. That's really revolutionary. When you think about it, this is the first ever live streaming over the top digital network. We also have our chief revenue and chief marketing officer is a female. Her name is Michelle Wilson. And it's been a lot of her leadership that's got us there. In terms of me and my career, I've really had the opportunity to start at the ground level. I was a switchboard. Well, first of all, I was a child model. <laughs> Which if you dig up the old pictures, they're not very flattering, but you know, there we were, you know, there were great margins. You were in your t-shirt. Yes, we yes. And, quite cute. and I didn't have to get paid. <laughs> so, well, um, but so yes, I did that. Then uh, I worked the switchboard as a switchboard operator during, you know, the week after school and high school and, uh, you know, during summers. Then I interned basically in every different department, whether it was marketing, media relations, digital media, which at the time was, we basically had this Donkey Kong looking uh, website. It was really at the, the beginning, the inception of the web, believe it or not, dating myself a little bit. But uh, so I interned in a variety of positions. Then when I came into the company full time, I worked in our sales office. I took over the creative writing team. I ultimately took over live events. Uh, live event marketing and booking, talent relations, talent brand management, which is more like endorsement type deals, and then digital uh, before I came into my most recent position as chief brand officer. Now, you mentioned your daughter is at home. Um, what kind of example are you trying to set for them who will eventually you know, be going into the workplace as well as other women around the country? Well, I try to set the example that my mother set for me, and that is you can do anything that it is you want to do, as long as you believe in yourself and you fight hard for your dreams. And Linda, you ran for state senator as well as being CEO of WWE. Uh, what kind of example were you tr are you trying to set for other women who are also trying to get those positions? Well, it's what Stephanie just said. You, you really do have to believe in yourself. You have to go for it. You can't give up. You have to set your goals. And you, uh, you're always looking ahead. You're really not looking back. And to leave WWE in the position of CEO, which was an incredibly challenging and fulfilling job, to run for the United States Senate was just a, a different avenue to go, uh, to go for. And I think we need more women in government, more women uh, in business, more women uh, in the boardroom because women absolutely give a different balance, a different perspective. And there have been studies that shown that when women do have uh, more of a position in the company, you can have a better bottom line. 
because I think they just do bring a different perspective. You talk about a different perspective. What are some tips that you would give to women just entering the work world or women who have been in, in those industries for a number of years now looking to get an executive spot? Women just really do have to believe in themselves. They have to understand uh, what, their, uh, what their goals are. They have to plan their strategy. They have to understand what they, believe, what they bring to a company, to an organization, or if they're starting their own business and are entrepreneurs, you know, they, they just have to continue to have that confidence. I think studies have shown that women don't often stand up as much for themselves as they need to. And I think that women are definitely changing, and that's one of the things that I hope to accomplish with this series. And Steph, you've seen yourself in a number of different positions since you started with the company, now as a CBO. What has been some of your more favorite, uh, I guess, positions with the company? Well, I did fail to mention that I am also a TV personality for WWE, and uh, I do play a bad guy. And I've got to say, there's a lot of fun in that. So I have a great time, uh, both on the road and off the road. But really, a part of my new role is community outreach. And I've had the opportunity to work with some amazing organizations from Make-A-Wish Foundation to uh, the Pearson Reading Group, because literacy is a big initiative for us, to I'm on the board of the USL Metro, um, to Kaboom, we just built a playground for the first time ever in an impoverished area in New Orleans. Uh, I have the opportunity to give back across the board on so many different levels, and for me, that is a key part of what I want to do with my life and with my new role in this company. No. If I may, I think also, Stephanie, that's one of the ways you do help set an example for not only your children at home, but also for other, not just women in WWE, but general, the general employees as well. And how much do you, importance uh, do you feel that, not only just for you, because it means a lot to you to be involved with these uh, associations and charities, but as, well, as well as the anti-bullying program, but for the WWE company, um, women, men, everybody, to really reach out to the community? I think community outreach is an incredible important, incredibly important part of society, let alone businesses. I think that it needs to be more integrated into what we do at the school level, um, you know, certainly post-graduation and at the business level where you then have the funds to be able to support some of these organizations that need it. Because there are a lot of incredible people in this world and you just have to give them the opportunity. And any chance you have to provide opportunity or to put a smile on someone's face, to make their life just a little bit better, there's nothing more rewarding than that. And you'll get back tenfold in your life what you put into it. That's fantastic. Thank you. Is there anything that I haven't asked you to that you would like to reach out? Well, I'd just like to say, uh, and it may be perceived that it's just a mother's pride, <laughs> but to be able to begin this series today, uh, having my daughter... Uh, as the f the first as part of this series is just uh, fantastic for me because not only do I have mother's pride, which I clearly do, but she is a fantastic young woman, a great executive, sets a great role model for her three girls. So to be able to be able to be able to showcase her a little bit at Sacred Heart University to kick off this series, I think will be uh, well received by the student body, and they're going to enjoy and also uh, have some good advice today. Well, she's gonna make me cry, and so it's good <laughs> we're doing this interview now. Um, but you know, I couldn't be more proud to be here. For my mom, you know, to be a trustee and to have established this program, I mean, to give back, you know, that's exactly what she's doing. She's giving back to the community in this series, Women Can Have It All. You know, and to have me as her first guest, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed and I'm honored to be here, and I couldn't be more excited. Thank you both for your time and uh, continue to do the good work you do. Uh, Vinny, I'll be here from Shoebox with Linda McMahon and Stephanie McMahon for the lecture series, Women Can Have It All.